Hey, this is Mikey here, and for this video, I want to do something a little bit different. Instead of a normal tutorial, I want to talk about my favorite keyboard shortcuts and other little After Effects tips. Now, as you can see, my animation here is not really too fancy, but I did this just because I needed some keyframes so I can show you one very special trick that uh, a lot of people might know, but a lot of people might not know that has to deal with keyframes, but I'm going to show you that one last because it's one of my favorites. But before I do, before I get into the main, uh, my favorite keyboard shortcuts, I just want to throw out there the ones that you probably all know, but if you don't, use them. Get to know them and use them because these are the essential ones, which are Command S for save, Command Z for undo, Command Shift Z to redo what you undid, Command D to duplicate a layer, space to hit play, and zero to do a RAM preview. So those are the ones that you probably all should know. Those are the ones that you need to know to do anything in After Effects or really in any program. Okay, first keyboard shortcuts I want to talk about is Prats. And these are your transform options or let's click on this. If I hit the letter P, it brings up position. R, rotation, A, anchor point, T, opacity, S, scale. And they all coincide with the word except for T for opacity, but just think transparency. So that's Pratt's, P-R-A-T-S for position, rotation, anchor point, transparency or opacity, and scale. The next keyboard shortcut, which is pretty amazing, is just the letter U. So click your layer, hit U, and it'll show everything that I have keyframes on, all my animated properties for that layer. For instance, this sound, nothing, because I didn't animate anything. I don't have any properties stuck to it. But this layer, I have the position animated. So that's U. The next one is W, not the W in the letter, but U twice. So hit U twice, and it'll show everything that's been altered not just has keyframes. So the position has been altered, but the scale as well has been altered. It's no longer at 100%. And of course, the source text has been altered from nothing to what my source text is now, which is these words. So that's UU. The next one only works on 3D layers, which is AA. Since this layer isn't 3D, I hit AA twice. It doesn't do anything. Let me turn it 3D, and I hit AA, and it brings up all of the 3D options such as shadows and lights and different things like that. So that is AA. And the last one about showing properties is has to deal with sound. So if your audio, if your layer has sound, then you hit LL and it brings up the waveforms. I like this because After Effects is not very good with sound and you can't really preview sound in real time. So if I can see the waveforms, then I can know where say words start and stop and different things like that it's a little bit easier to edit your video when you can see the waveforms that's LL next let's talk about navigation obvious ones are home and end which will take you to the end of your composition or the beginning of your composition that's home and end on your keyboard the not so obvious one and people mess up all the time because they just hit the arrows on the keyboard they're like oh I want to go to the next frame and they hit the arrow but that doesn't do that. The arrow, if I have this layer selected, the arrow will move my layer. It'll just nudge it over. But in order to go from frame to frame, you hit the page up and page down. And I do this all the time in my tutorials. So page up, page down. So page down goes towards the end of your composition. Page up goes towards the beginning of your composition. The next one is J and K. So J and K will jump from your keyframes. J will go towards the beginning. K will go towards the end. And that's easy to remember because J on your keyboard is towards the left side and K is towards the right side. So the J will bring you towards the left. K will bring you towards the right. J and K. And the next one is just holding down the space bar. If I just hit space bar, it'll start playing. But if I hold it down, it brings up my hand and I can move around my composition window. So if I'm zoomed in really far, I can move around with the hand tool. Okay, the next is zooming. 
Now I can just scroll on the keyboard, but sometimes you go way out of control and it's hard to do that. If I just want to zoom in with the keyboard instead of the scroll wheel on the mouse, I hit Command plus and Command minus and it zooms in and out. Now if I want to zoom in and out of my timeline, I don't hit Command, I just hit plus or minus. So plus and minus is for the timeline. Command plus and minus is for your composition window. Okay, let's talk about tools. I'm not going to show you the keyboard shortcut to all the tools, just my favorites, which are, of course, the selection tool, which is just V. So if I'm on, say, the hand tool, I hit V on the keyboard, and it brings it back to the selection tool. The next one would be just the rotate tool, and the keyboard shortcut for rotate tool is W. So all you have to think is rotate instead of rotate, and then you can have the rotate tool. If you're wanting to do text, if you hit Command T, it brings up the text tool. Because remember, just T is the opacity tool for that layer. So Command T will bring up the text tool. And of course, let's bring in a new camera because we'll need it for this next one, which is the camera tools. And that's C. You hit C, and it brings in it will rotate through all the different camera tools each time you hit C. Okay, let's talk layers. We all use solid layers, and it's really easy. Lots of people just go up to layer, new, solid. But you can see here, what is that? Command Y. So Command Y will bring up a new solid. Click OK, and there is that new solid. Now say I want to change this layer. It's Shift Command Y will bring back up those solid settings, and I can change the color to something different. And if you're really fancy and you want to add a new null object, that's Command, Shift, Alt, or Option, Y. So that one takes two hands. I don't use that one as much, but that's how you get a new null object. Next, let's talk about masks. So let's add a quick mask to this layer. So I have a mask on this layer, and if I just hit M, it brings up the mask path. If I hit M twice, it brings up all of the properties of the mask, and if I hit F, It'll bring up the feather property of the mask. So the two properties of mask that most people use most often is just the mask path and the mask feather. That's why they have their own keyboard shortcut. And then these last few tips and keyboard shortcuts don't really fit into a general um, type of shortcut. So I'm just putting them all into the end here. The first one is the tilde key. And what the tilde key does is whatever window you're arrow is your, your mouse is over you hit that it'll expand that to full hit it again and it brings it back down so I go over here brings that one the layers so whatever window I have will bring it up to full so that's really good if you're say right here I can put my window to fit and then it'll scale that up with it so people most likely use the tilde key with when they're previewing their composition and they want to see it in full screen or if they want to look at their layers and they have lots of layers they can do that really quickly to see all of their layers so that's the tilde key next is B and N so what that does is it sets my work area in my my timeline B will be the beginning and N will be the end beginning end B and N next is chopping or cropping in on a layer. So I take this top layer and I'm going to hit option left bracket will chop it on the left. Option right bracket will chop it on the right. And what that did was it kept the layer exactly where it is and just cut it right there. I can go back and move this back out again. But that's what that did. Now the next one is the brackets without the option. So what happens is where I put my playhead right here, I hit the left bracket. It didn't chop it. What it did was it moved this layer, which was right here, and it moved it over here. It didn't crop in on the layer. And if I hit the right bracket, it'll go from the right side, and it'll move it that way instead of chopping it. That's just the left and right bracket without the option or alt key. So, And then, of course, one of my favorites is... You highlight whatever layers, and it's Command-Shift-C, which is pre-compose. So Command-Shift-C for pre-compose. That one I use all the time. And then 
something like this, uh, I can click on a layer, and if I just hit enter on the keyboard, that's so I can go in and change the name. So that's just to change a name on your layer is to enter. And then the last one that I told you about at the beginning that is my absolute favorite. Holy cow, when I learned this, I was so amazed. What it is is I'm going to highlight all of these keyframes. And when you hold down Option on the keyboard, it will scale the keyframes relative to each other. So I didn't just move them. I kind of squeezed them in. And now let's go in and turn off these other layers. Now my my text moving around is moving a lot faster. And if I then go and highlight these again, hold down Option, and I can bring them back out. So if you've ever done an animation and you realize, oh no, it's too slow, instead of going in and moving all of these keyframes individually, all you have to do is highlight them, hold down Option or Alt, and squeeze them in that way. Time saver. So those are my top favorite keyboard shortcuts and other little tips when working with After Effects. Now, if you've got any favorite shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts that I didn't mention, feel free to put them in the comments. These are my favorite, and you might have some favorites of your own. I would love to hear them. Also, if you have any just general questions about After Effects, place them in the comments, and I will respond. Thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it onto Facebook or Google Plus or Twitter or whatever social network of your choice is. Thanks.